Okay, uh, so and finally, uh, I will be now talking about a new option uh, about uh, automatically adding sources into the thesis. Um, so, um, some time ago, uh, we have added a preference Uh, to model compiler and it says detect source dependencies automatically. Uh, actually, we had such uh, preference uh, for the classical builder some time ago and <clears throat> right now uh, we have added a similar option and uh, we have added support for automatically adding missing sources to model compiler. Um, th this was done uh, already some time ago, but uh, during this sprint we have improved um, the usability of this option and uh, we have improved uh, messages uh, which are printed into the log if you are using this option. Uh, so I will now turn it on and uh, uh, here I have a sample uh, where I'm building. And actually, to test it, I, I have my sources completely empty. So I, I don't have any sources uh, in here, and uh, here as well, I don't have any sources. So I have only uh, uh, top capsule uh, specified uh, here, only a reference to the top capsule. So now uh, I have turned on uh, this option. and. Uh, we will see what will be uh, the output. Compilation now will fail and this is on purpose. I have added it on purpose just to demo that uh, out, if you add sources automatically this is not this could not be always correct. Uh, but this is um, uh, actually the output uh, that you will get uh, for the missing sources. Uh, this is a new information message uh, printed and it actually lists all of the sources that you are missing uh, in uh, in such a format that, that you can actually explicitly use it uh, for editing sources on the code tab. Uh, so uh, uh, if, uh, if you have some missing sources, it is recommended actually to save them in your thesis. Uh, and um, uh, uh, if you're editing sources uh, manually, uh, for example, on the code tab, uh, sometimes it's painful uh, to in insert uh, here to edit these uh, sources on the code tab because all this, all of the sources they uh, they are referenced by uh, UIDs. Um, and uh, but now, uh, if you want to quickly update your TCGS. Um, then you can copy this uh, list of sources uh, that was printed into the log. So if you are fine with the build uh, and uh, you want to add all of these sources where it was added automatically on the fly, then you do it just like this. And uh, uh, this actually uh, is quite convenient. And uh, if you go now, uh, I'm not saving it right now, but if you go uh, here, uh, you should say yes, uh, so the model will be updated and this is on the main tab. Uh, you see that all of the sources are added. You see their names, you can actually, uh, you get all of them here and you can edit and keep the ones that are really used or remove uh, some of, of the sources. Uh, and uh, but but you see that as soon as you save uh, or as soon as you uh, switch uh, between tabs, then um, these uh, comments they were gone. But originally we have them so that uh, when you paste it, uh, you can see what were the sources. Uh, so this uh, uh, is actually. Uh, 
a workaround uh, and a possibility to update automatically update the sources for your thesis uh, for TCGS formats. Uh, because uh, maybe you remember that for uh, legacy thesis we uh, had a button uh, here. Uh, organized sources, which actually uh, allowed you to do similar things, uh, just to add missing sources to your thesis. Uh, for TCGS, we right now don't support this option. Uh, we probably will be adding it in, in the future, but right now we don't have it. And uh, this um, printout actually allows you to do this uh, already now by just pasting this into the code tab the output from this command. Uh, but you will also get a warning. So this is also a new warning. Um, it, it says that uh, there were elements, uh, missing elements, and uh, um, we were adding them automatically to TCS, and uh, we could have uh, added it into the wrong context. We could have added them into the wrong TCS. Uh, so, um, uh, this is a new uh, warning, uh, actually forcing developers uh, to um, uh, to fix the TCGS files and uh, analyze what are the sources um, uh, that were added uh, and um, uh, fixing and saving them permanently and actually not uh, use it always uh, like this on the fly. Uh, sorry, I got the question on that point. Uh, yes. Uh, in the this missing sources that uh, are are shown in the console at the end there is some some hash uh, right hash and some 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 sha id i think so right yeah this Here. one actually yeah yes uh, yes how we could how we could find this uh, this key is it only way to uh, to see in the printout console or no uh, so um if you know what you, what source you are using, yeah. uh, then you, uh, for example, if you want to get this for class one, uh, then you right click on uh, class one, and uh, there is uh, a menu option, copy element URI. Mm. So, yeah. and it will actually copy you the hash uh, that you want. Okay. So now here, I go here and I press Control V, and uh, you get this uh, URI. Uh, also, uh, if you want to know what uh, what source is here in the list when you are on the code tab, uh, then you just hover over uh, and wait a little bit, and you will get a hint uh, saying that this is actually capsule two. But okay. uh, you get it for separate elements, uh, so so you need to to hover over each element, uh, so you don't see it for for all. <laughs> but uh, I think this is. Um, this can help in some cases. Okay. Still. That's enough. One mm, additional. Mm -hmm. One additional. By the way, if you have uh, this copy, it, you also can use uh, navigate menu, and uh, I think there is some navigate by URI. Elena, could you check? Where? In, in the, the code top? tab? Navigate. No, in the um, top. Navigate. Navi um, Ed okay, file, uh, edit, navigate. Yes. Uh, navigate file right. navigate Navi Navi no i mean the ah, oh yes okay yes 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 okay go navigate to. navigate go by to. uri no no navigate by uri you navigate can navigate by uri aha uh -huh. okay. yeah okay so i am pasting uh and, and uh, yes one. and it is navigating you to class one okay <laughs> so that's uh, a good comment actually uh, a good comment uh, because actually if you see that it is quite hard to edit sources uh, here um, and uh, these are the small hints that uh, will will make life easier yeah I, I, I'm satisfied with your answer thank you okay any more questions I think we're running out of time right now uh, one more comment from my side is that uh, actually this new option uh, it can be combined also with context sensitive library builds so if so you can use both at the same time uh, in that case uh, context sensitive library builds will filter out all of the sources 
uh, that you are not using but that are present in your TCGS and uh, this uh, second uh, option it will it will print you the lists of missing sources uh, if any and this option report details automatically it also influences on these detect source dependencies automatically uh, so if you are using it in this for example combination uh, and I will run uh, build once again then you will get details uh, about the sources uh, that you have added so you will still get um, this message uh, that, that you can copy paste into your code editor uh, but also you get a list of messages uh, saying uh, which sources were missing and why are they needed why are they required <laughs> 